Hey, Ellen. What now, Chris? Hey, Ellen. Hey, Chris. What you wearing for uh, hosiery today? Uh, these would be my uh, seahorse. Oh, socks. they were almost doom and orange almost in and color. Orange. They well, changed to sort of a seahorse purple and fluorescent. peach, whatever. Anyway, we're talking about Ellen's uh, choice in hosiery because she's been wearing quirky and interesting <laughs> French fry socks, you succulents, make it now seahorses. Somehow, you know? and, uh, and we're also taking a slight break here at the 2016 California Spring Trials because right. we're just about done mm. with day three, which means we're almost halfway through this adventure. So what better time to sit down here at Edna Valley Vineyards mm. where we're enjoying the Duman South display. That's right. And um, if you're not out here, this is one of the reasons you should be. The scenery, it's not raining, there's a little breeze. Um, and in the background, you can see the... We had a nice rooms. lunch, but now we've got, we'll turn around, Jen, and show them the plethora of flowers we're gonna check out, including some that are even being watered. So let's go <laughs> do it, shall we? Is that wine you're putting on those? Well, oftentimes, in fact, I think every time, we start at the front of a trial with like the big introduction and we work our way through to some, oh, and here's this and this and this and finally. Today we're starting at the back just because there's a crowd over there and we can't get in the front. Yeah, so true. we're gonna save maybe sort of the best for last, but not okay. really not the case because there's some very cool things here, including uh, a new series of Portulaca called Color Blast. They've got um, f uh, uh, four three. colors to start. Three, three singles, four doubles. Oh, that's, that's seven, seven all together. <laughs> and uh, the doubles are a little closed right now, but look at some of these singles with the, the bicolor flowers. The singles are bicolors and the doubles are, are solid. solid. Color. Right, so that was a watermelon punch. This is beautiful, like look that at that one. lemon twist. So if you're looking for a colorful, succulent, loves drought, Go for that one. Uh, fuchsia is something we've only seen it, I think, one of the trials yeah, exactly. so far this year. <laughs> and uh, this is their Aretis series. And they're very excited about this upright Rio Grande, in large part because they're really going for the large uh, flowers on here. That's right. And they've got that. So that's a new fuchsia. Yeah. And then another one that I would put back in the category of the um, Portulaca is Lantana. Whole new series. Havana series. Uh, very drought tolerant like all um, Lantanas, but these are compact, self-branching with large mm -hmm. flowers and nice dark D yes. foliage. That's it. Darker foliage, bright yeah. flowers. Five colors, and they say they're working on some of those lavenders and pinks right. to really round right. out the series. And uh, lastly, let's all head right. across the way to Begonias. They've got a big, broad range of them, but they've got uh, a couple specifically want to show you the, the Unbelievables and the Unstoppables. You're looking at the new one, in the, one of the new ones in the series, right. Unbelievable Tweety Pie. Now, what's the difference between an Unbelievable, unbe Ellen, and an Unstoppable? Well, the Unbelievables are more of a collection of uh, plants that have similar characteristics, but not constant ca characteristics. Right. The for Unstoppables it, have more uh, uniform traits. Okay, for instance, like this First Kiss, which was introduced previously, a little tighter habit. The Tweety Pot, I love that name. That's great. With the creamy yellow flowers. I love that color, yellow. And the nice yeah. foliage. That's a little more sprawly. And then another new one over here in the Unstoppables, which you say is a little more of a series, that's Upright Salmon. Well, let's uh, head behind us, and I think we'll look at, uh, oh, geraniums, petunias, verbenas. <laughs> we'll look at everything. Calabacoas, everything. Petunias, Ellen. Yes. Out of that long yeah, list of things I just gave them. you, we're going to look at petunias. Okay. Because here they are, and there's lots and lots of them all the way up to the sky. Their message with petunias is they're focused on bright, bold, clear colors. Certainly have them here. And some of the new ones, like in their Sweet Tunia series, we've got Lavender Shimmer and Rose Shimmer. That indicates these beautiful eyes that they have in here. Uh, in the Surprise, which had these really nice patterns, this is Surprise Pink mm. Touch. My favorite is over here to your right, Jim. Surprise White Orchid. I prefer Surprise Lemon Frost because it makes me think of a sorbet we could have after uh, lunch. But how about this one? This is cool. This is another Sweet Tunia. This is Velveteen. This is almost a bicolor, different 
purples and uh, Merlot sort of wine sort of uh, colors there. Velveteen, I think that's a good name. And um, now we want to look at um, uh, Caliber Co. One in particular, and I hope the camera can capture just how vivid yellow Golden Girl is. That's I don't know beautiful. if that's I don't know if that's the most gold and yellow caliber koa in the marketplace. It's but up there. that's um, I wish I had a piece of gold to hold it up to because that would show just like it. Where's our doubloon we've usually used? And then well let's switch over to a whole other cat color category here in uh, New Guinea Patience and specifically sun standings. These were introduced last year as sort of a pre-intro soft launch. Soft yeah. launch. Mm -hmm. These are sun impatience. The idea being put them out in full sun, they'll grow beautifully and vigorously. Mm -hmm. Most of these will do in shade as do, well, or at least exactly. some shade. Um, and it's a full introduction now. There's a plenty yep. of availability. We've got four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen colors That's right. in the series by my count. And uh, we should note there's two that are, they're calling them auroras. They have a little uh, uh, color in the outside of the petal that's just a little bit darker than the sun. Wow, yeah, look at yeah. that, that kind of a uh, magenta Yeah, they're calling it like a little cherry, cherry, cherry red rim. Cherry and then uh, rose aurora, same thing on that. All right, so those are sun standings. Now, we're going to take a look at their... Um, they're confettis because okay. they have now reached the 10,000 recipe <laughs> mark. It's about I exaggerate. That. It might be off by a few zeros. <laughs> Ella, I'm going to enter the circle of confettis because <laughs> that's, like that's a really strange horticultural ritual or something. <laughs> that's really what it is here. They've got so many different confetti uh, garden mixes here. Let's just show you a few of the new ones. For instance, here's one that's all Calabracoa. Very nice. Hawaiian night. I accidentally said Havana nights earlier. It's a whole other island. Uh, they're doing um, all uh, this is coleus. Great. This is yeah, uh, another cool. new one. It's Fiori, Fiori Square, Square. Uh, in confetti. like that. This one is called uh, Ruby Slippers. Nice deep put the yellow contrast from the Calabacoa. That's this Amore. Is, uh, that's I think that's Amore. that new golden Calabacoa that's in there as well. And then if we flip outside, out of the circle of confettis. Here's a few more. Denim blues. It's a Zerko's favorite. Banana uh, berry. Now that's actually no, my favorite one. and Zerko's is to the right of it. Peppermint, Peppermint candy. Peppermint candy. I'll give you one later, Jen. Um, Caliber color, we looked at some before, but let's take a look at their chameleons, which are their real wildly colored ones. Mm. Love this. Chameleon Blueberry scone. I have never Lots seen. Lots of different uh, colors on that, actually. And they, they, well, they uh, say light temperature and humidity oh, right. will impact mm -hmm. which of the colors express itself. Mm -hmm. How much? Right, and don't try to control it because just let it, let, let it go and it, see let what it happens. Do its thing, yeah. kind of like us on video tape. <laughs> yeah, and exactly, lastly, like um, and this is where we would have come in. That's the entrance, but we sneak in through the servants' entrance thing over there. Uh, brocades. Uh, geraniums. These are novelties, the brocade series that they've really got mm. good production on. Uh, the selection has been great because you notice nice habit flowering just like practically a zonal yeah. geranium when you rarely get that on a brocade. This one's Cherry Night. Look at that deep zone there. Two Fi of them are uh, uh, AAS winners by the way. Right. That's Fire Night. This is uh, Brocade Fire. And lastly, Salmon Night. So that mm. is a well, if you look back through the greenhouse, we didn't, we didn't cover a tithe no. of what's here. So you've got to come to the spring trials yourself and see Doom and Orange and all the other participants. But we hope you gave a little flavor for what's here at the trials. So uh, for Grower Talks at Green Profit, I'm Chris. I'm Ellen. And uh, we're going to go see the other 90% of what they've got. <laughs> mm, I like that.